On January 20th, Tunisian President Qais Saied responded to local rights groups who criticized shrinking freedoms in the country. Freedoms in Tunisia are guaranteed today more than at any other time, Saied said in a video. But that is false. In July 2021, as anti-government protests and a pandemic surged, Saied ousted the elected prime minister and suspended the parliament. He announced rule by emergency decree and consolidated power. On January 14th of this year, more than 1,000 protesters faced a violent police response. Journalists covering the demonstration were beaten and their equipment was confiscated. Yassine Jalassi, the head of the journalist's syndicate, said, quote, Tunisia has become a country which suppresses freedoms. Meanwhile, Sayed curbed the budget for the Supreme Judicial Council. The International Commission of Jurists said the courts are Tunisia's last defense against absolute power. In December 2021, Human Rights Watch said authorities were prosecuting civilians merely for criticizing Sayed or the army. A dozen years ago, Tunisia was the birthplace of the Arab Spring movement that toppled a string of autocratic leaders. Now, global watchdog Freedom House says Sayed's assault on Tunisia's constitution is a shocking rollback for democracy.